Today I'm going to be talking about uh, a brand new game which has just come out on the Xbox uh, called Far Cry 3. Now I've got to say straight away, uh, I've been playing for a few hours now and I'm in love with this game, totally. It's, it's fantastic. Um, I've actually been looking forward to this game sort of all year really. Uh, I was looking forward to it sort of more than Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed. Uh, I think it's probably the best game of the year I've played so far. Uh, for those who don't know, it's a first person shooter and it's set uh, usually on some sort of exotic location. Uh, this particular game is set on, a, on an island somewhere. And the story is, is it's a brilliant storyline actually, without giving too much away. Uh, you play uh, an American guy who's with a group of friends on holiday. And uh, it starts fantastically, you're, you're out having fun, you're you know swimming and skydiving and that kind of stuff. And uh, all of a sudden the game flashes and you're, you're stuck in a, a prison made of you know bamboo sticks and uh, there's a guy with a gun pointing at you and uh, you're basically being uh, taken hostage by these sort of uh, like island pirates and uh, you're introduced to the game's sort of main villain a guy called Ten who you may have seen on the adverts and on the game box and stuff like that and posters uh, and ads on, on websites uh, and he's this sort of crazy Mohican guy covered in tattoos and uh, he's just completely out of his mind brilliant, brilliant villain and uh, the game sort of follows your escape from the prison and your attempt to rescue your friends and then eventually sort of uh, confront the bad guy and kill him. But uh, the main thing that sets this game apart is the, the setting is this beautiful sort of uh, paradise location. Uh, but you do have to sort of uh, fight and kill to survive. Uh, the game is quite sort of, uh, you can explore anywhere and you can do your own sort of missions and side quests whilst doing the main quest. Uh, for example, you have to sort of uh, kill wild animals, such as, uh, you know, there's like, like tigers in there and stuff. And uh, once you successfully kill them, you can hack them apart and take their insides out, which you can use their fur and stuff to craft new things and to, to buy new weapons and stuff like that. And it's a really, really good system. Graphically, the game is fantastic. I'm not too sure, but I think it's using the, the Cry engine because they've got these beautiful sort of sunlight effects and the water looks amazing. You know, it's probably the best looking game on the Xbox so far. Um, if anyone played Far Cry 2, which I think was set in like an African setting, it's uh, it's even better than that. And um, one, one of the sort of niggles of the, the second game, Far Cry 2, was you spent a lot of time running around this huge map. This time around, they've realized that. So they put more vehicles into the game so you, you, you never really go too far without sort of finding a car because walking around does take a lot of time and it gets quite tedious. So. And one of the good things as well is the exploration. You can literally go anywhere you like. You're not sort of limited. Uh, just don't venture off into the water too often because you may find yourself getting attacked by a rather large water mammal, let's just say. I won't spoil it for you. But uh, it's, it's fantastic. It's gory. It's got lots of action. Great storyline. Um, Lots to unlock, lots to find, you know, it's a really, really big game. The multiplayer is awesome as well. So I would say that this is actually better than Call of Duty. The only sad thing is uh, we're probably going to have to wait another two to three years for the next game, but uh, it, I definitely recommend it, you know, nine out of ten. If you disagree with me, leave some comments in the, in the comments section. Um, if you've not got it yet, you know, you want to ask any questions, feel free. Um, thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.